got uh we got something going on here everyone let's hero see here kids. Hero, hero kids, kids. Hero, hero kids, kids. Hero, hero kids, kids. Hero it hero. is a very very special day <laughs> as you know hold on i'm gonna put this on oh that's my mom oh oh my god facebook get out of here facebook get someone's trying to join let's go i can oh, i can yeah. join i can join you can join if you want to all right, where's our, uh, this is not Hero Kids, are we? Scene collection, beats. Here we go, here we go. Oh, just running around is missing. Where is it? Oh, hello. Oh, he can't hear us. Hello. Oh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Turn on the camera, turn on the lights. Oh, look at the cat. Look at that little cat, kitty cat. All right, hold on. No. Hello. Hello, hello. Hello, hello, hello. It's Can you hear a, me? It's been a while, Kevin. It has been a while. Are you Very excited? while. Two, one month, two months, three months. It's been a minute. Mm, I don't know if it's been three months, but it has been a while. It has been a while. I think it's, it's, it's of course, one month. Two months or three months. I think it's really three months. This is a this is a big surprise for my son. He didn't know that we were gonna do this. All but right. since I saw Ooh. the Kevin thing, I just knew we were going to do the hero kid. He knew, it. He, knew it. he saw he saw he saw Kevin on Facebook. He know he knows what's up when Kevin's on Facebook. Yep, that means hero uh. kid. Kevin, hello, long time no see. We yep. missed you, man. Yes. And we're also going to eat some fish. Yeah, we're eating fish right now. But so. I already ate dinner, so I'm a little full. We ate lunch. Lunch. I didn't meant dinner. Um, I was gonna say, <coughs> I ate dinner. Who's that now? That's just dinner time. But that's yesterday. Hmm, that's right. You ate dinner in the past. So, so today's Christmas it Eve day. It's uh, the 24th out here in Korea. Very nice. This is a um, Christmas special Hero Kids. Uh, yep. I talked I talk mom no. into letting us. Uh, have this have this adventure here for us as a as a Christmas gift to you. An early Christmas gift. And your Christmas gift too. Uh -huh. Yeah, I guess it's my Christmas gift as well. Anytime we're blessed with uh, Kevin's presence, that means it's, uh, <laughs> that means we're gonna have a good time. How how have you been, Kevin? Very uh, good. Better now than I was. Um, did you move? Your back. your your place looks different. Your background looks different. I moved furniture. Okay. Move. A little feng shui. Uh, but you, you changed your design. house. You changed your design. Yeah, but we had to put our cat down. Uh oh. But you got a new cat. We got a new cat. Oh. Yeah, she's back. She's back there on the couch. Okay. And the cat's also going to do. Uh, is what's, what's the new cat's name? The new cat's name is Ishtola. He's cold out. Ooh. He's cold out. I wish if you changed that. What's, what's the old cat's name? Sappho. Sappho. R.I.P. Sappho. Rip. Yep. And we also have, and, we, and my dad also has, my, my dad's dad also has. My dad's dad has a cat. My dad's dad does not have a cat. He ha, my dad's dad has a cat at his house, but that's actually my brother's cat. And that cat's name is Mr. Sparkles. He's a magician. And and there's Ooh, and, nice. and that and that is an Aqua Teen Hunger Force. And, your, and my dad's dad <laughs> and my dad's mom also has two dogs, Gigi and Baxter. That's true. We have two dogs at the house, nice. at Grandma and Grandpa's house. And that's California, so it's a, it should be the same same time because they live in California. Oh, same time. It would be the same time as my time right now. You so guys are just after seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Seven oh seven. Oh, by the way, I got eight oh seven. I got it. No, it's seven oh seven. No, it's, it's not because there's daylight savings, dude. Five hour difference. Why five hour difference? That's just the way they do it. Why they go to the four, <laughs> but now why do they do five? I don't know, man. This okay. science. It is, it's it's a, it's a weird thing. America does weird things sometimes. The imperial yes, so imperial that, units. So that's why they made the flag upside down. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Okay. What happened? Who made the upside down flag? Someone just turned that upside down. Ah, remember? yeah. So that, that was because the world was on its, you know, turned upside down last January. What? I mean, uh, like, America was turned upside down. What? Yes. Yeah. So everybody had to walk with their heads 
Yeah, everybody, everybody's walking on their hands. No, it was no, with really, their heads. Really I think. Hard. Walking with, it walking on their really hands. Ah. We'll do a handstand for five seconds. All right, Kevin, we are ready. We're ready right. for our next adventure. I my we've, new been, thing. we've been waiting. We've been waiting so long for a nice adventure. I can didn't you, can, you, can you take us there? I can definitely take you guys take there. Us there so, man. We're going back. We're uh, going today, back. Dude. Where's our guy? Ribbon Shore. Ribbon Shore, we're there. Yes, Gadjika. And Rintro. And Rintro. Gadjika and Rintro. No. Gadjika and Rintro. Gadjika! Yeah. What, what am I do? Oh, what do I do if I'm doing? Uh, I'm, I'm twirling, right? I'm twirling my thing. Rintro. Rintro. Gadjika! All right, let's go. All righty. So, uh, in, in the town of Ribbon Shore, it is winter months snow oh. has started to fall lights have started to go up oh, trees lights. and decorations are all over the place uh the yule uh the yule tide celebrations are coming uh you might recall a very long time ago uh actually <clears throat> as you guys are in and about the town this is one of the days and one of the celebrations that five row and rexy actually come out and do a bunch of storytelling about their old adventures. And one of the biggest adventures that they tell stories of is the time that they saved the Allfather. The Allfather. And Who that uh, Five Row was given the sack of many things. <gasps> and Rexy was given the lucky yeah. sword. Yeah, and they would... talk about that. And they describe how now every... Every year during the Yuletide celebration, they make sure to put out as many decorations and as many, like, treats and things like that for the Allfather because they want to make sure that he comes back every year. Uh, so it, is, it, is, it is legend. Dairy. It is legend. It is Dairy. living legend at this uh, point. Well, living legend. Um, so the town is a buzz. Everybody's everywhere. Uh, things are going up. People are singing, people are dancing, people are eating scrumptious food. You guys find Fish. yourselves in the center of town on the eve of Yuletide. It's not quite Yuletide, but it is the day before, just like it is there, the day before Christmas. Oh. In our story, kind of it is the day before Yuletide. Is um, it 12, 10 p.m.? It is 12, 10 p.m. Oh my god. Oh Yuletide, my god. Yuletide Eve. 2022? Uh, I don't know what the year would be. I think it comes a long, a long time ago in a galaxy far, far a away. A long time ago, yeah. No, 2022. Uh, let's let's call it 2022. Yay, that's exactly our time. So you guys find yourselves in the middle of this celebration, uh, and you have the ability to partake in any of these types of activities that are going on. Is there anything in particular? Do you want to join the carolers? Do you want to? Maybe to go try to find some food. There's an eating contest going on. Oh, oh, we're uh, at a Christmas festival. Is... We got to figure out what we're doing at this Christmas festival. Oh, this is us right now. Oh, I mean... You guys are there uh, on the map in the town. Festival going on. You guys, I will say that you got a uh, caroling competition. Wait, happening. caroling competition. You have a uh, eating competition. Happening. Eating competition. Then, you have a decorating, like a gingerbread house style decorating contest decorating going on, contest. and you have a race. Ooh, what do you want to do, bud? You will have you the will race. have enough time to participate in two of these activities before the end of the day. The race and eating. Race and eating. The boy chose. All right. Which one do you guys want to do first, the race or eating? eating to make the energy eating? to run. Ah, uh, the energy to run. Nice. Good. All good. right. And I'm so, always hungry. Good thinking, man. You guys head over to the arena where the eating competition is being held, oh, and you no, see no, this no, no. rather large gentleman in a kind of white beard, red suit outfit sitting there at this table, and he's like, "Ho ho ho!" ho. Are you two here to participate in the pie eating contest? Give me those pies, baby. I need many, many pies. Ten million Very pies, well. please. Very well. So here's how this is going to go. Every round, we are going to give each of you one pie. Okay. If you finish the pie without throwing up, oh. without going to the bathroom, 
No problem. And without falling out of your chair, you will move on to the next round. Okay. The last one standing wins. <laughs> it's kind of like me Do versus you. Do you think right you now, are bro. challenge enough? I'm in. I'm in too. Very well. Take your place up on the stage. Any I, kind of gestures. To I the can't stage really stand you. up. Is that for real? Well, you can stand up. <laughs> Stand up and then go go to your chair, man, to where you're gonna eat your pies. Your, no, no, your pie I meant, eating chair. no, I meant for real. Ah, in in the competition? No, no, I meant right now. You can just, I stand up? You do whatever you want right now, man. Yeah, can I stand up? Yeah, can absolutely. Even. But in when the competition happens, your character will have to remain seated. No, that means I also sitting. have to be seated. I don't know. Are you your character? I'm my character, so I'm going to stay seated. I'm my character. So you should stay seated. Okay. But can uh, I drink water? Uh, it's here, man. Can I drink water? Ooh, maybe. Uh, yeah, beverages will be provided to each of the contestants. But do remember, the more you drink, the more full you'll become, which means less pie for you and more for me. <laughs> oh, oh, that's true. That's very true. All right. Thank you, man. Let's go. We ready. Okay. All right, so as you guys enter onto the stage, there's five seats on the stage. You guys take up two of them. Three more people come onto the stage. There is a uh, very much a pig-looking person uh -oh. that comes onto the stage. Big belly, pig snout. He's like waddling in. He's ready to go. He sits down in the dead center. And then on the other side of him, away from you guys, two very familiar people I come and sit is. down as I well. Know who it is. Bingo and Bluey. Uh, Bingo and Bluey is uh, right. Bingo and Bluey. A blue dog a and blue a dog, dog, dog person Orange come dog. and sit down and they look hey, over at you guys. And they're like, you know, <laughs> you guys may have won that little tip in the thing, but today. We're going to beat you at everything you do, what? starting with this eating competition. Never. And do you know what I'm going to say to that? They put, what? What? I'm going to say, uh, <coughs> challenge accepted. Oh, challenge accepted. Very uh, well. Small dogs. Uh, so you guys... <laughs> You guys sit down. Uh, bibs are provided. Everybody's got a bib on uh, their on their like self right there to cover from the pie mistakes uh, that may be happening. Uh, the jolly old man with the big old red suit stands up and it grabs the attention of the crowd and he's like, "Ho ho ho! The first eating competition of the day shall begin." Up on stage, we have our first five contestants. We have Yajika, and the crowd starts. Go, 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 do your thing, do your thing. Yajika, Yajika, Yajika. And the crowd, when you start doing that, cheers a little bit louder. <sighs> um, we also have Windthrill. And then he gestures you. I saw, I start flipping the the, uh, my arrows. <laughs> Don't shoot them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we also have Horcus and the pig kind of stands up oh my and God. <laughs> He does the the, the, the truffle shuffle. Does the, he does the truffle shuffle and starts shaking his belly like he's gonna eat everything, snorting that whole thing, crowd cheering, they sit down. And crowd's going final wild. two contestants, we have Bluey and Bingo! And the two of them stand up, and the crowd starts cheering as well. Uh, and they sit down. The, you hear the old guy start saying, All right, shall we bring out the first round of pies? Yeah! Very well! And pies come sliding across the table, and... <coughs> How big they are? One How pie, big one, it's a full pie. It's no, like no, no. How pie. large is it? Show me with your hand. Oh, my God. It's a good size pie. These are not pie. small pies. This is a <laughs> competition. <laughs> Fun fact, Kevin loves pies. <laughs> I absolutely love pie. I remember um, Kevin had to get pies one time. And even he got a Subway, too. That's true. Yep. 
All right, so here's how this is gonna work. You have to roll the dice every round. We are going to start with a two or higher. It's really easy the first round. Every single round, the difficulty is going to go up by uh -huh. one. But how about what if it gets to six? How many then rounds they are? Stays, then it stays at six until somebody doesn't roll a six. All right, let's go. This is fun. This Here is we good. go. So Plus first, first round. Go ahead and roll your dice. You got to get two or higher. Oh my god! Six. Six to start. Starting out strong. Uh, Yajika loves the pie. I need to get a two or higher. Wow. I'm out. Round one. Yeah. All right. So, uh, <clears throat> yes, so the sorry. pies come out. Uh, what did what did Yajika roll? A six. six. All right. So Yajika, first thing the pies come out. Your big old frog mouth opens. Your tongue oh. darts out, wraps around the entirety of the pie, and drags it wow, back into your mouth. Pie. One bite. Pie is gone. Uh, yeah. Me, I'm I'm allergic to uh, whatever the first pie is. I didn't know that. I yeah, didn't know we were uh, doing uh, boysenberry. Rinthril, Rinthril takes a bite of pie, and your face just <laughs> swells, and you're just like, nope, can't do it, and like push the pie away, and the jolly man is like, due to health safety concerns, Rinthril is disqualified and will not be participating I'm out. in further rounds. Are you okay? First uh, round, come on, man, that's ridiculous. All right. Uh, Bluey, Bluey and Bingo, you see them, they're both kind of making steady pace. They're not as quick as, uh, not a one Gajica shot was, but they definitely do that. Uh, the last one to actually finish up is Porcus, and he barely seems to make it through this first oh. pie. He Thank like, you. he like oh, eats it, and you just hear him say like, oh, maybe I shouldn't have had all that cake earlier. <laughs> uh, I ate a bunch of cake earlier. So it's the pies right. have now been cleared. It is now on to the second round. Round two, dude. I'm out. You have to, you have to roll a three or higher. Every time can you, it gets can you tell us the uh, kind of pie that it is? Uh, this time, last time it was boysenberry, so it had that like covered pie top, which is why you didn't know. Uh, this time it is a strawberry pie, so open pie top, just lots of strawberries on strawberry. it. Strawberry. Uh, All right. Cause, it cause is. we gotta know which we gotta know which color dice to roll. All right, go for it, man. Four. That's a four. All right. Uh, so you once again, you're feeling confident, Yajika, from that last round. You throw your tongue out and you grab like three quarters of the pie and scoop it into your mouth, swallow it. Second bite, two bites, pie is gone. Uh, wow. That's amazing. Bluey and Bingo, as quick as you were in those two bites, both Bluey and Bingo, you just like look over and their plate is gone and their faces are covered in red strawberries because they just dove straight in and were like, ah, 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 <laughs> and just completely devoured those pies. So they just have strawberry all over their face. <laughs> Meanwhile, you then look at the center seat where Porcus is and you just see him. He's got the like, pie on his like I guess it would be a belly shelf and he's just like shelf. slowly trying to shovel it oh my god Porcus Porcus just he just like you see him just go like Whoa. and just kind of roll out of his chair oh Porcus is disqualified he left his chair before the contest DQ, was over. baby. two are down three uh -oh. remain Yajika Bluey and Bingo. Next round. Good luck, dude. And you Good luck. Wait, wait, wait. The Just pie wait. trays get Which pie is it now? Away. And now comes out a banana cream pie. Uh oh, we're in trouble now because we don't have any yellow dice. What are you gonna do? It's so, okay. Oh, it's okay. Three have pies. A yellow light three light. people remain. Begin round three. Go ahead and roll your dice. You need five. To oh, it's a five. Higher. It's a five. -er. Four or higher? It was, yeah, because last round was a three or higher, so this round is a four or higher. What? And I got five, because it <laughs> looked like. Awesome. So this time, you, you learn from your past mistake, and you just full on one bite that pie, just boom, straight down. But I hate food. banana, but I hate cream. But how did I eat I know, so but that's why you did one bite, so it's you one just shot, so bypassed it, tasting the cream, and it just went straight into your belly. 
Didn't have to worry about Straight the Straight into taste. the gullet, dude. I didn't even think uh, that because there was so many bananas. Oh. Bye, y'all. Bluey also finishes their pie. You just see them. They gobble it up just about as fast as you did. And as you look over, you see uh, Bluey kind of poking Bingo, and Bingo is just face down in oh his pie. Oh, my God. Not moving. Her pie. And you just, you just hear from inside, kind of inside the pie, you hear, I can't do it anymore, Bluey. It's too much. Oh, Bingo's out. Too much. Bingo is out. Bingo just rolls over, falls out. Oh, no. Down goes another. Bingo is out of the competition. We are down to the final two contestants. The final two, dude. You versus Bluey. Round, round four, Bluey versus Bingo. Oh, Next pop. No, not Bluey versus Bingo. Bluey versus Yajika. Oh, sorry. Bluey versus Yajika. Gotcha. Uh, and he brings out well, a chocolate cream pie. Chocolate mm. cream. So, you need to roll a five or higher. Is five same is okay? Five or higher five is Five is same. okay. Five or higher. Two. A two. Two. So. Did Bluey you all the way up? This, you start to eat this chocolate pie. Your tongue comes out and it touches that chocolate. And suddenly, at that exact moment, your brain tells your stomach that you are full. Uh oh. That full you've had man. too much. And as you bring that slice of chocolate pie into your mouth, it just stays in your mouth. <laughs> You're not able to swallow it. So you have a whole piece of pie in your mouth, and your body is refusing to let you swallow it. So you have to do the whole like, Bleh, and you just kind of let the piece of pie back out of your mouth. Can uh, I do anything to help him out as like a, a what are what are my special powers? Can I give him a special power? You are you are already disqualified. I know, but like a like a like a like a support like a support role? Is there any sort of support role from Rinthril? Hold on, let me try I my... believe Rinthril, your support the split shot, kombasa shot, the dance? The dance? Can I do a dance suddenly? Confused. I, I, I see I see my friend is uh is 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 struggling so I do a dance. Okay, I will I will say this. Uh, you can you can elect to do that. Uh-huh. But if you use it on him, yeah. uh Yajika, you will get to roll your dice again, but whatever number you get gets a minus one. Oh. So you, have to so roll you a would six. have to roll a six what do you think? in order to survive this round. What do you think? Yeah. All right, let's do it. I'm going to do it. Right. And that, um, No, I have a question, but did Bluey lose or did he win? We don't know what, we don't know what happened with Bluey yet. You don't know yet. He well, might have lost. Do you think I should do this? Move on to the next round. Well, actually, no, don't do it. Don't it's don't not your choice. Do I'm going to do it anyway. Don't do it. Don't do it. Please. I'm not going to do it. So, okay. So, I, 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 give, I give a look. I give a look to Yajika. Uh, no, who, yeah. who am I? Um, Rinthro gives a look to Yajika to, to, and, and he does like a little, uh, he does a little, uh, like, like this. Cause, cause I, I, I yeah. see, I see he's struggling with the chocolate pie. So I give him a look at this one. And then, uh, he says, uh, nope, it's okay. You, you give me a, give me a, like a, a sly little, like nod, like a. Okay. Okay. Music. I think I have much so power to move. You don't do that maneuver. Okay. Uh, the pie still comes out in the the jolly man is like it's okay, it's okay. Oh the pie has left the mouth. Yajika is disqualified. And that means our winner is and he looks over it and you guys notice that Bluey is no longer there. <laughs> uh That's funny. Bluey is no longer there. This guy looks super confused. He's not you sure what's going on. You gotta on. pray it out. Put your hands together like this. And he's like, well... No, I'm the winner. Bluey, Bluey, where is Bluey? <laughs> and you guys just hear from behind the stage. <laughs> oh my god, Bluey threw it up, dude. Bluey is run behind the stage and is just throwing up all the pie that he ate. And the, the man sits there and he's like, well, I guess since you both didn't finish the pie this round, at least you, sir, stayed in your chair. And even though the pie slice came out, it wasn't vomit. 
You didn't stand up. So, uh, I believe that our winner is Yajika. Yajika wins the first eating competition of the day. Thanks. Even though I didn't <laughs> have music, I can work. You did it, man. And he says, good choice, right. good choice. Good move. Good. We, good. Will, we will present you with the golden fork of eating. And he sees this, like, you see this, like, golden fork. It's bigger than, like, a normal fork. but It's, it's a like, big, this large. It's like a like a foot foot and a half long foot four and a half. It's like it's like that big. It's like this big. big Yeah, like that big man. There's centimeters. It's it's a it's a really big fork. Uh, Hands it to you uh, and says, "There you go. Enjoy your prize. Hustle. Good job, man. Back next year. But I have a question. I have a question. What did what did Bluey win? What did Bluey win? No, what did what did Bluey roll? Oh, Bluey rolled a one. <laughs> that's a that's a throw up. The good news is I, I also threw up. That what happened? Run through. Wow, it's All great. Right. Ah, oh oh, right right in uh right in theme. You rolled a two and you rolled a one. Wow, great job. I love it. All right, on to the next right. one. I think on I can do my event. running contest, but I think my feet will hurt. What? It's okay, you can win. This Dude, time. you're a frog, man. You can just hop, man. I can hop, on, so hop on my back. I can hop very, As very, very, is. very. Can I hold hard? Oh, uh, oh, I have a plan. Can you, I have a rope, but can I rope you and you run me? That sounds terrible. All right, let's let, let, let's go to the rules. As let's do it. Yeah, okay. yeah. As you guys leave the uh, <coughs> eating contest, you guys make your way out to the field portion of this where it's going to be a foot race um foot race. once again you guys get there and there is another rather large round guy with a beard and a red suit standing there you notice that pretty much everybody running the event here this year is dressed like this uh so as you get there he goes ha hi how's it going welcome to the place you guys uh, are here to do the race, right? That's what you're here for? You're here for the race. You're here for the race. <laughs> Wonderful. Well, uh, the rules are very simple. Uh, very simple. You have to start here, and he points to the starting line. And you have to get there, and he points way out in the field, and you see a flag kind of about 100 meters out in the field. And then you got to get back. That's it. Okay. Those are the only rules. Uh, seems easy. This seems easy, but looks easy hard. Easy enough. To understand. Alrighty. Well, this is just simply a pairs race, so it'll be your pair against one other pair. Pairs. Uh, there's only one other pair who happened to sign oh up for this particular <laughs> round. Uh, hold on one second. Uh, and Ugh. this one's like flipping through. These the guys game. again. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Louis, uh, uh, Bingo and Bluey. Jeez, the Bingo double Bs. Bluey. Your race is about to begin. Are you also you see, uh, Yeah, me and you are together. Team, team race. You see Bingo and Bluey start to like come forward. I love uh, this. And they look at you guys and they're like, <laughs> you may have won that eating contest, but we're going to win this race. Because, yes. No, I was going to say, nice try, bro. I saw you throwing up behind the stage. <laughs> Good Nobody luck. Nobody saw me doing anything. Thank you very much. Every saw uh, me doing everything. Everybody saw Everybody me. heard you behind the stage. I That's heard you all seeing. Also. Okay, nobody saw you can't prove anything. That's true. Anyways, we're going to win cuz all we got to do is get there and back and we know we can do it faster than you. All right, let's see dogs. And the the uh the Santa guy yeah, says, all right, well, uh, it's, I guess it's time to go. Go ahead and line up on the line there. Are you ready, uh, Bluey and Bingo take their spot. I'm going to jump ready, very go. far. So uh, the Santa guy steps out into the middle of the field facing you guys. And he's like, all right, well, the rules are pretty simple. It's, all that's going to happen is I'm going to say, like I said, I'm going to say three, two, one. And then the word that starts with G and ends with O. <laughs> and then you'll be yeah. able to head down the field 
and you'll get to the flag, get back any questions. And they're like, so we just, we the only rule is get to the flag and get back. No, no other rules, right? And the Santa's like, yeah, that's right. Just get to the flag and get back. Those are the only two rules that you got to follow. Can I roll the dice? Seems a little too simple. What do I need to roll higher? We're ready to roll. We are ready to roll. All righty. Uh, so, I'm ready to roll. Uh, no, like rolling around the field. No, roll the dice. I know. What do I need to roll higher? All righty. Well, we the race yet. is about to begin. On your marks. Three. <laughs> Two. What do I need to? Is like now gathered, and they're like, ah, the race, yeah, this yeah, is a really good match. Run through. Yeah, people are cheering for you. People are cheering for them. I'm over Cheer. here. I'm over ah, here. Yeah. I'm over here. I'm over, I'm over yeah. here. Twir- I'm over here twirling my arrows here. Run through. Let's go. As soon as that guy says go. Uh, Yajika, please roll your armor dice for me. Oh my god. Two? Whatever your armor dice is, I believe it's two. Hold on, hold on, let's check it, let's check it, let's check it. Just Yajika. wait! Yajika. Right. No, we're good, we're good, man. We got time. Yajika, magic, armor, two dice. Two dice, please roll me two dice. Four and three. Four and three. As soon as this guy says go... Bluey looks straight at you and says, <laughs> Well, don't you know? The game is you actually have to go the opposite direction. What? As he takes off running, and uh, unfortunately, Yajika, you are forced to jump and run in the opposite direction of the flag. Bluey. For this trip. Cheeky, cheeky uh, dog. And they take off. Uh, I shoot the dog. Well, wow. shoot the dog. <laughs> that's my that's my thing. Shoot it! Right. I'm I'm gonna do a uh, so uh, Klimbla- shot. Right. shot. So Yajika is running the opposite direction. Bluey's taking off towards the flag. Bingo is also taking off towards the flag. But you're gonna take a shot at Bingo, or I'm gonna I'm gonna aim at uh, Bingo's. Uh, no, 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 Bluey's foot. All right. Stop. Go ahead and. Roll your attack. Klimblash Klimba- shot. I got a ranged attack with three dice. That's a one one. Oh my god, one one five. On on the oh, on the on the, on the kicker. God. On the kicker. Uh, <laughs> the kicker gets you there. Uh, otherwise, he would have gotten away. He only rolled a one, uh, two. That would have been sad. Uh, so been yeah, sad. after uh, Rinthro, you immediately recognize what. Bluey has done because he tried to do it to you. So you just turn, pull back on your bow, let loose the arrow, uh, and actually cause Bluey to stumble and fall as he takes off. Uh, Bingo is still now in the lead. God damn, gotta catch Bingo. Uh, so it is in order of I'm glad the race people. again. Can that work again? Only it one? is Yajika, then Bluey, then Rinthril, then Bingo. Okay. Is it bingo bingo is gonna here? continue. You hop the opposite direction, man. So you you're 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 in last place. So you you last place rolls first. Last place gets to roll first. Okay, I like that. Uh, I like so that. So Yajika, you can you're going to catch up because now you can turn back around and head back towards the flag. Uh, you're able to head back towards the flag. Is there anything you want to do? on your turn aside from just running forward because you can run which will catch you up to bluey and then you could run again which will put you tied with rinthro or you could do something to bluey or bingo on your way i want to do something to bingo okay what are you gonna do i Uh, want to what can i do i'm going to shoot a magic i shoot the magic shoot shoot uh it's too far it's uh, four squares for your magical frog shot. Um, conjure once per turn. You Everything is up to four squares, so you could do something to Bluey, but you can't do anything to Bingo. I think you gotta. Bingo I think you gotta go ahead. for the straight shot, man. I think you gotta run out. Uh, what about the rope? He's got rope. I mean, if he got, if he got, you could try to tie up Bluey. 
Can he, he can't hit um he can't hit uh bingo with the rope? No, rope is just the ability to like no rope and knots and like how to tie things up. It's not like a uh, like a eha yodi like a <laughs> no. I mean eha yes, yodi, but not as far out as bingo is. All right, bingo's in the lead, man. We got to get bingo. Okay, I'm going to just jump. Just hop, jump? Super hop jump? Hop as far as I can. All right, hop as far All as right. I can. I love that. And so if I move... To, so you and Rinthrill are now tied. You guys are heading forward. Bluey is the next one to act because he is, is furthest back. You got nothing to roll. No. You just hop. Big hop. No, but I yep. want to see... Roll to hop, right? No, you're a hop. Hop is hop. You're good. Hop is hop. You are running. But, but I right. want to roll. Okay, I'll tell you Bro, what. Bro, if you... Okay. Here, well, let's roll see. for let's see, let's see what the DM says. Just just wait, if just... you really want to roll, Yadrika, you can roll. However, if you roll low, we'll say if you roll three or lower, you trip and fall. Does it trip and fall? Okay. Just wait. If you roll, if you roll four or higher, you will actually pass Rinthro. If four ties okay. Four or higher gets past four me. Four ties is also okay. Four what? Four. Yes. Everything. Four. Uh, if you roll a four, is that you okay? Four, five, or six. That is okay. My my young son, the gambler. <laughs> what do you roll? One snake guy. So the minute you catch up to Bluey, you're like, all right, here comes the big jump, and you like go to get the big jump, and you slip on some snow on the grass and so just. Straight on your Yay! Face. So and it's you, minus one. Hell. So both you and Bluey uh, are laying on the ground next to each other. Bluey's going to get up and good run. Good, good try, good try. Uh, yeah, good, good and try. he's going to just double run, not try to like really get past anybody, catch up to Bingo. So now Bluey and Bingo are in the lead. I feel like I feel like uh, <laughs> maybe uh, by him falling, it kind of like... Uh, Bumped Bluey and gave Bluey a little bit of a, a boost. A little bit. Uh, but now, Rinthrill, it's your turn. All right, that's it. Shoot yeah. both of them at once. Do the confused. Well, I mean, if I'm if I'm over here just shooting the whole time, then I can't actually run you the can race. You shoot and move, just like. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me let me check my. I think I have a double a double shot. I believe you do. You can split up your dice to be. I'm doing the split shot. Yeah, I should have done it from the beginning, but all right. So how many how many dice are you putting towards Bluey, and how many dice are you putting towards Bingo? I mean, obviously, I'm doing one one and one. No, two and two. Wait, wait, wait. Is is Bluey next to Blingo now? Bling Bingo. Bluey is next to Bingo, but Bingo is next to move. So Bingo is gonna get. All right, then I'm gonna I'm gonna hit them both. I'm gonna try to catch all them right. both. Because I believe you have, you actually have three dice for your shot. So I do have, I do three have three dice. Thank you for, thank you for so reminding you me. Do, I'm gonna like, do. Um, uh, who's father? Bingo's, Bingo's, Bingo's father. Bingo is gonna be, Bingo is going to be farther. Yes. You can see, you can see the dice colors here. I got one dice All for right. Bluey, and I got two for Bingo. Bingo the two. Bluey. Bluey's a two. And uh, bingo is a four and a five. Is that just how you wanted it? I mean, it's All better right. than so the other way So your arrow around. catches bingo and trips him up. He falls oh. flat on his face. Punk. Uh, Bluey just jumps to the side oh after being hit by your arrow once already. It's just like, nope, not again today. Nope, All right, so 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 they're uh, they're they're together, <coughs> they like ready together. ready to go together at the at the same. Yep. Okay. Bingo is just going to spend his turn okay. basically picking himself up off the ground okay. and ready to run. Okay, okay. Uh, They're ahead of us, but we're, we're Yadrika, still in this. You're behind. Yadrika, You're one behind. You are the furthest behind. It is you fell your on turn. your face. You could have been next to me, but you fell on your face. But I appreciate the effort, son. What do you want to do this round? Mm, mm, try to shoot Bingo. No, try no, they're to too far. Rolling. They're too far for you. Okay. You have no, you have no range on those guys. Just run without rolling any dice. All right, run without rolling. All right, jump. I meant. Run without rolling. You run. You spend your entire time running. You catch up to them. Oh, you're um, nice to them. You 
You are up with them now at this point. Rinzo, you are now in last place. What are you doing? In last place. F that. I'm doing it. Confused. I'm a, uh, yeah, I can't just keep shooting them. I, gu I guess I should also... Uh, confuse them. Confuse them? Confuse them with a dance? Can I dance? Can I dance them from here? Kalindrasa dance. Uh, Kalindrasa. I mean, you could you could catch up to them, and then I believe your dance works on one person. Oh, that's right. I got a one person Kalindrasa dance. Who do you think I should have called it? No, just run. Into just it. run. Don't do anything. Just don't do anything and just run. Hmm. What's this? I got sneaky. I got speaky. Um. Can I do? Can I run next to him, and then um, run next to me? Use my speak to say like, um, what should I say? Like I only try to confuse him. I can try to confuse him just with my normal speak. Like um. That's a weird question. <laughs> what about uh, like uh, um? I should ask like something about uh, like a chili. What's Chili doing right now? Or what's, oh. um, what, what's the dad's name? Bandit. Yeah, what's Bandit doing right now? Ah, I'm gonna try to really, really, uh, mess with their heads and be like, um, hey, I saw a Bandit the other day. But no. you d actually didn't. Yeah, I can, I can, I can try to make something. Are you eating Cheetos with, the, uh, with chopsticks? <laughs> He's eating Cheetos with chopsticks. That's the thing. I saw that on something. That's a. It keeps the Cheeto dust off my fingers. For well, I mean, food. I saw it on something, and it is a thing. But why would you not? You know. You know. Is that? Is that? It's there's like oils and stuff, and my keyboard is rather expensive. Ah, the keyboard. The keyboard is the most important thing. Okay. Bye. Yeah. Keyboard. My keyboard and mouse are both gaming instruments. They're like not mm -hmm. regular keyboard and mouse. So. Can anyone I'd see me right not. now? Can you see my son uh, running? No, I cannot. Surprise! <laughs> Surprise! Okay. <sighs> okay, what are we doing, son? Am I just going to run, or am I going to try to do a dance? Confuse. Or am I going to try to just try to confuse them with my talk? Yes, confuse them with their talk. I'm going to say, like, your shoe's tied or something? Or, like, um, I notice your I notice your parents aren't here. No, no, it's so, it's so dark. Uh, what can I say that would really make them like think differently like like lose their uh, concentration how can i make them lose their concentration uh we know what they like but i think we have to roll we know what they like we watched the show many times bluey <laughs> what does he like ah let's say um let's say uh uh it's ver hey the it's veranda santa time oh and then uh and then uh say like try to make him go to sleep right okay I know what it is. Verena Santa. This is a, this is a Bluey episode. Uh, final episode of uh, season, season, one. season one. And it's also maybe the first episode that we actually started watching in Bluey. It was because we were watching Number Blocks Christmas special. And while we were waiting, it was the Bluey Christmas special. Verena Santa. I'm going to say, I'm going to run up to him. So I'm running up. And then I'm going to do uh, Speak. Speak, which I have a dice for, plus I don't know what, what's what's speak magic. It's, it's you Range. get the one dice from the speak, one for attempting to use it, and then one for every dice in intelligence you have. So oh. three dice. Nope, I got I got nothing on intelligence. So I got two dice. So I I'm gonna do a I'm gonna do orange and a blue dice, and I'm gonna say um. I'm gonna say, uh, hey, uh, Bluey and uh, Bingo. Uh, let what do you guys think about doing a quick round of Verana Santa? All right, roll your speed. Ah, a five for Bluey and a one for Bingo. So, Bingo throws their hands up and is like, yes. And like stops and faces you, uh, Gee, Bluey just is going to take off and continue running. 
Yay! Uh, the rat is, so it is now their turn. It is now their turn. Uh, so Bluey's gonna take off running, and Bingo's gonna sit there and be like, Veranda Santa, Veranda Santa. Santa. Where's my gift? Where's my gift? Yeah, where's my gift? Uh, and be ready to go for Veranda Santa. Uh, it is now your right away. turn. Oh my God, it's Bluey's turn. <sighs> oh, Bluey's taking off running. Bluey's already going. Oh my God. Whose turn is it? Bluey it was is just your turn. My turn. Uh yes, Yajika, you would be in the in the back. Yes. Yay! We're, we're together. We're together. Hey man, hold on. You gotta catch Bluey. You gotta catch Bluey. What are you gonna do with Bluey? Um, I will say next turn, one. if you don't stop Bluey, he wins. He is going to reach the flag and yep. be ready to turn around. Yep. Oh, aha! Oh, there's, a, there's a turnaround move. I forgot about the turnaround. They have to get the flag and then come back. Oh, then we can get them at the time that they're going around. All right. We can just get them. Pop. All right. That's a good plan. Uh, head connection here. One of us has got to run. Yes, one of us. One of us has got to try to catch them. Uh, uh, I think you got to run and one of them can. Are you going to catch them? Yes. I got, I got, uh, I got arrows on him though. Okay. I think you're the, you're the faster runner. You're the hopper, man. Okay. The hopper. I'll, I'll hop to him. All right. Okay. We're, we're changing our strategy. I'm the yeah. shooter. He's the hopper. Do, uh, right. do we have to finish together, or is it one person finishes to win? The rules were, you have to run to the flag, and back. Okay. So that's you. That's all you, man. All right. <laughs> My what's turn. what's happening now? Whose turn is it? My turn. Your turn. Yeah, it's my turn. Take it. So what are you gonna do? Just run, man. Just run. Yeah, run. run. All right. So you just run, run. ahead. You run. catch up to Bluey. Run. Just hopping. Run. Uh, run. That run. means Rinthrill. What are you doing? Flimbrash a shot. Bluey. All right. Uh, three dice. Flimbrash a shot. Trying to hit him on the leg again. Ugh. Okay, ready, ready, ready. I got, I got three, I got three blue dice for the blue app. God dang, one, two, four. It's one, two, four. It's okay. We'll see. So you line up your shot. You let loose your arrow. Yajika, as you're catching up to Bluey, you hear the whistle of the arrow from behind you of the Kumbrasa shot. You just hear this. Klimbrasa. Is it, is it going to shoot me? Yeah. Klimbrasa and the arrow strikes true and trips up Bluey. And you, you watch right Bluey just kind of tumble right in front of you as you catch up to him. Yeah. Uh, it's their turn now. Uh, Bingo is very upset with you because you told him it was... Uh, yeah, good. The, good. You yeah. should be upset, Bingo. Yes, you Bingo. should be. Uh, uh, and he is going to pull out his hammer oh and my God. lunge through the air at you. Oh, my God. And try to hit you with the hammer. So, but, but uh, do your armor. Please, I know. I got armor. Rinthril, I got armor. please roll armor dice. I got armor. This is me, right, Rinthril? Okay. Yep. I got, I got, I got, I got two oranges ready for you, bro. Like this. <laughs> yeah, I got two oranges ready for you. Five and a two. Watch this. So, Bingo comes over the top and just cartoon style buries you into the ground. Jesus Christ! Six on, six on a one. As he, six on as a he six. Looks at you, a six is good. He rolled, six he rolled a six. As Bingo looks at you and is like. Where's my present? <laughs> Where's my present? Um, it's good, it's good. Alright, so. Hey, where's my is, present? Uh, bingo is where's my present? Rinko. That's Rinko, more like a present. Rinko, you are stuck in the ground. Yeah, I know. I'm, 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 I'm out for a round to just figure out what's happening with my life. Yajika, here's how we're going to finish this race because it is down to, once again, you and Bluey. God dang, you and Bluey, man. Me, 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 so, and, uh, me and Bingo got out on the last pie-eating contest. You and Bluey here for the, for the winner dinner. So, I want you, we're going to roll four dice, oh. one at a time each. So, we're each going to roll one, and it's going to be like a game of war. Oh, I love Actually, this. we'll do five. We'll do five. 
I love this. So five. best of best of five. This is so good. So so roll your first die for me. All right, all right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. For the first five dice. Roll one dice. Roll one dice. We're doing best of five, man. It 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 went out of the uh it went out of the the, the thing, so the box. We, so can we do it again? So so we're asking do it again. Uh, if it's DM. out of the box. Okay, out of the box. DM. He said he said do it again. Six. That's a little bit tricky. All right. So you take off. Uh, Blue Mommy. is a little bit slower to like get up and chase you. Mm -hmm. uh, you are able to reach the flag first, but Bluey Ooh. is close behind you. Roll Rabbit. your second dice for I think it's five. All right, Don't you right. roll the five or four? All right, all right. No, no more re-rolls, man. That was your last chance. If it's out of the box, it's zero. Be careful. One. That's, a one, that's a one in the box. That's a one in the box. All right, so as you hit the flag and you turn around, you're feeling pretty good because you're a step ahead of Bluey. Bluey gets the flag and just plants both feet and lunges forward on all fours as he starts dog, on dog running and pulls ahead of you. Roll your third dice for me. Alright, 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 alright. One. The good news is it one. It's a one again. Why are you rolling so many ones? Bluey is still in full on dog war. We're, 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 we're in trouble, man. Sprint. But the as, he's starting, as he's starting to pull away from you, Bluey color. has now won twice. You have won once. If you lose this next roll, Game's done. Bluey is going to win the race. Slow down, slow down. I know roll you your play. dice. Four. It's a four. It's four is okay. As you see Bluey pulling away, you feel this urge to hop harder, hop farther, hop longer. You throw your front legs down. You feel the muscles in your back legs bulge as you push yourself forward. Bluey hears you taking off and stumbles a little bit as you catch up to him. It's two to two, baby. It's two to two, baby. You can see the finish line. It all comes down to this last roll. Please roll your last dice. For you me. grab, you grab the, you grab it. Huh? You see, you see the dog running. You grab it, the the thing, and then take it to the finish line. Okay. Which dice is gonna help you do that? Uh, I think red. Alright. He's in the red now. Six. Oh, baby. Yeah. You and Bluey are both neck and neck. You neck and are neck. both running. He is Bluey is running full force, go, full go, extension go. on the arms. You need to be hopping, dude. You need to be hopping. hopping. You need to be hopping. Throwing your body forward at the very last minute. Your leap is just a little bit more than Bluey's final stride, and you cross the finish line a nose ahead of Bluey. A <laughs> nose crowd, ahead, dude! So the crowd so erupts. Like, like here's, here's Bluey, Bluey, and then this is your nose. Bluey's here. Yeah. The crowd erupts in cheers. Because it is the closest race they've seen in a while as you come across yeah, 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 yeah. not only won the eating contest earlier in the day, he won the race for his team Dang. as well. It was really Bluey sick. He kind of tumbles forward as he I won everything. Out of breath. <coughs> Bingo is still fixated on Rinthrow. You guys are like back in the middle of the field as Bingo's sitting there with his hammer like time. asking for presents. Um, <laughs> present, present. I give him a present. Hearing, uh, I don't know. He's happy with the present and then like runs and leaves to go find uh goes go and find Bluey. And then uh you guys catch up. The Santa comes over, one. he's like, Well, that was one of the most exciting races that we've that ever close. seen here. Close. Uh it came out of the gate with lots of thrills, lots of chills, Six lots of that. action. Everybody was cheering. It was tight race all the way Six up until the, the end. Because of my yeah, heart, you so are I'm are amazing. Uh, however, the prize that we have for you uh, doesn't really seem right for a frog, but here's a sneaker. 
and he presents to you a like a golden shoe, like a oh. little tiny golden shoe, as the prize for winning the race. The He's shoe. like, "Thank you so much, uh, everybody. It looks like it's that time for the final carol of the night before we all go to bed. Uh, go ahead and head to the center square. We'll do that carol and then head on in and uh, get ready for Yuletide. So yes, exactly, gold." <laughs> <laughs> Just like that. The, the 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 golden the golden sneaker presented to yep. you. Yay! Thank you. <coughs> uh, hey, so everybody starts to move away from the the race field, and, and the and the shoe is a little bit down. too a little bit too big for a uh, for a frog's foot. Well, a small, a bit too big. Uh, you guys follow the crowd back to the center of town. Everybody's holding hands. The center tree is completely lit up. Uh, everybody's kind of around this tree and singing. Uh, and they sing this wonderful Yuletide carol. Uh, and then everybody disperses to go back to their homes and go to sleep. And, 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 and everybody sings that to me. Yes. Uh, you can jump to the top of the tree and they're all standing around the tree. And I'm going to act like I'm a star. Absolutely, you can. Just stand on your um, chair and do the star star pose. In the frosty air. No, here, here, here. Right here. Because we can't see you on the, on the whole thing. Can you just hold it? Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll adjust the camera <laughs> just for that. Nice. In the frosty air. All right. Awesome. Uh, so evening passes. You guys go back to your rooms. Everything is quiet. Everything is nice. Uh... Nobody's really making any noises or any sounds at all. It's super quiet. Nobody. Morning starts to roll around, and you guys are awoken by a brisk, sharp scream. Oh my god! From the center of town. Followed by, as you guys wake up, you hear this first scream, and it's kind of startling initially. And then there's another scream from somewhere else in town. Then another scream. Then another scream. Oh my god, scream, 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 scream. Screams all over the place. And you guys, as you like start to come to, you look around your guys' room. You had partaken in the spirit of Yuletide and had decorated your room. You had put up lights, put up uh, different types of wreaths and different types of decorations all over the place. And no. you wake up, and as you come to, you notice that everything is gone. Oh my god. Everything is gone. It has all been stolen out from underneath your noses while you slept. All our decorations are gone, dude. Our Christmas tree is gone. Our presents are gone. Everything's gone. <gasps> so even like my shoe, I was going to give it to my big friend Fibro. Yes, your both awards that you won yesterday, both the fork and the shoe are or gone. The shoe are gone, dude. How do I get them back? God dang, we gotta find out how to get them back. Let's find out. Let, let's get some more information. Or well, let's get them. All right. Or well, let's try to find it too. So, as you guys follow the uh, kind of town screams, it's all kind of similar to what you guys saw in your own room. People are screaming about their trees being gone, their presents being gone, their lights being gone, their decorations being gone, everything being gone. Everybody is gathering around where the big tree used to be. Someone oh even stole the big tree from the center of town, uh, which is kind of a feat because this big tree was like 20, 30 feet tall. The big? Uh, it was not a, yeah, it was not a small tree. This is a, this is a tree that my son made. Just, uh, I want to show you Ooh. this one real quick. It's got, um. That's awesome. It's a deep, I don't know what in English is deep on block, but it's the, you know, like, I guess it would be the defoam de blocks, but anyways, they this tree is down. gone. Take it. Yeah, that tree is gone. It is gone. Everybody's screaming. The sheriff in the middle of town has is trying their best to calm everybody down. They see you guys. I trust uh, that sheriff in town, and he kind of waves you guys over. Uh, and he's like, "Hey, hey, uh, you guys, uh, you guys are part of the." Uh, uh, Five Guild with Rexy Adventuring Academy, right? Yeah, we're we're uh, Academy members. Uh, one, two, I think two. That's right. That's right. You guys were top of your class. Perfect. This is exactly what we need. Um, they need to come. With, come with me. Come with me. Uh, and he kind of ushers you guys into this like kind of side room hall thing. 
She's coming uh, away from the crowd. What happened to Yajika? Uh, Yajika uh, had to go to the bathroom. No, I. Ah. Uh, uh, sorry, sorry, uh, sorry. Uh, it's okay, I'm back. <laughs> Welcome back. Um, I gotta go to the bathroom though. So, uh, it's okay. Okay. Oh, okay. everybody, uh, sorry, chef. Everybody's got to do a, a quick bathroom break. We're, we're really lost. But their toilets right. are, but their toilets are gone. <laughs> their toilets aren't gone. The but toilets are there, and we're gonna go to the bathroom. Everyone, we'll see. We'll see you uh, in like two minutes, Sheriff. Two One minutes. minute. Two minutes. <laughs> Do you also need to go to the bathroom? And the first one back. With, and the first one back. The first one, I'll do. Uh, I'll do. That's better. A water refill. Water refill, I guess. by Sam Cook, and it's a song about Jesus giving people water. Okay, let's go. I'm back, All Sheriff. Right. Uh, so the Sheriff brings you guys into the this like little room in his office. Uh, he's got his deputies out there trying to help calm people down. He's like, all right, chumps. We're going to have to do a lot of like crowd control here because people are panicking. However, okay. We have an idea of who took everybody's stuff, and we would like to employ you to go and retrieve the things first and foremost. We're, we're not too concerned with the person themselves, uh, but we do want the stuff back. I also, uh, I also you, want my prizes back. Yeah, I mean, you guys probably had your stuff taken too, so uh, I'll... Even I'll tell you what, whatever, cool. if you guys are able to get everybody's stuff back, um, I'm sure the town would be super grateful and we would be able to get you a, a good reward. I'm not really sure what that would be at this point in time, uh, but that's that's all I can offer at this point. Do you guys, this is not a normal way of doing things. We definitely would have normally gone through the, the little guild and made sure that we got proper authorization and everything, but this is kind of an emergency situation. Do you accept this job to go on this quest? Yep, of course. Uh, Sheriff, you don't need to bribe us with possible prizes, and you don't need to apologize. No, I want prizes. Because prize. we, are, we are guild members, and this is our job. Yeah, we, this is our job. We keep Rivenshore safe. Safe. We, I appreciate that, but just like any job, there is normal procedure and pay for the work that you do. And I just apologize that we're not doing it through the proper normal channels. Hey man, I trust you, Sheriff. All right. Thank you. Uh, so what you're gonna need to do is we know that it was taken to the uh, mountain range to the west of here. There is a single peak 
that is taller than all the rest. Uh, we believe that the culprit is held up in his cave up there. Uh, that is most likely where he took everything. Okay. Uh, you can follow the road west out of town, and you will eventually hit the mountain range. Uh, so it'll be this direction. Okay. Okay. On the map. I see it. Uh, so following that road, just basically this peak right here is. Ah. Uh, okay. Is okay. Peak. Yeah. That's, that's the one I was looking at. Uh, so yes, the quicker you can bring things back, hopefully the better. Uh, we will give you our fastest uh, ponies to ride out there this time. Uh, they won't be your personal ponies. These are not, uh, let's just say, these are not standard ponies that you will be riding. They move very swiftly uh, across all terrain and all weather. Uh, they should get you there in a little less than half a day. They should be able to get you to the mountain there we go. if they're running at full speed. There we go. Full clear. All right. Uh, so he gets you guys the usual like things. He gets you your two potions. He gets you guys outfitted with cold weather gear because you're going to be going up a mountain in the winter. Mm -hmm. uh, and he sends you guys off and on your way. Do we need uh, anything? Do, do we need anything before we go, son? What do you need? We got our ropes. We got our uh, hats. We got our. Um, yeah, yeah, Yodi Play-Dohs. I don't know. I don't know what else we got. I don't know what these characters have, but. Anyways, we got all our stuff. Yep. You guys are off and on your way. All right, uh, we're, 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 uh, we're galloping along the countryside, I guess. Yep. What's and after for? about a half day's journey towards the, all right, here we towards go, bro. the west, this. you come across this scene. Oh. Uh, snow Looks on beautiful. the land, uh, a single mountain peak standing above all the rest. You see a small little hut down there at the corner. I want to go to that hut. Kind of as the it's kind of like the last little outpost before going up into the mountains. There's a fire lit, things like that. I want to go um, to that hut. Uh, do they have right. green tea there? Do they? I want to get a green tea matcha uh, uh, drink. Hot matcha. So as as you go into this hut, uh, you open the door. You guys are covered head to toe in snow. You guys are like frosted over. Uh, you see behind this counter, there is a uh, larger gentleman with blonde hair, blue eyes, a uh, kind of handlebar mustache that goes into Sounds like, uh, like mutton chops with a Sounds like Sven. beanie and Sounds like, Sven. like a thing. And he sits no, there and he goes, Yoo-hoo! Oh my god, it's blonde. Sven! We found Sven, dude! Yes? It is really Sven! He said, "You That's definitely Sven. You Sven? No, 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 not Sven. Not Sven. What's the guy's name? Uh, uh Frozen. We watched him in the movie last night. Yeah. Frozen. Uh, uh, in yeah. in keep in keep in keeper. What's the guy's name? God damn. I don't know, but that's exactly uh, Oaken. Oaken. It's Oaken, Oaken, dude. We found Oaken. All right. Oh, hello there. Hello there. He's that guy right now. That's really I funny. really like him. He looks Yoo -hoo. really Yoo -hoo. With, with the hands, with the hands. He's doing the hands. Yoo-hoo, yoo-hoo. Welcome, welcome into my shop. What can this I do for you? so funny. All right. Um, uh, uh, no, we don't need car uh, carrots. Carrots for our ponies. Do you have any carrots? Ooh, carrots. Carrots, yes, we got lots of carrots, but we're also having a big summer blow yeah. on bathing suits and towels if you would like them as well. Yep, towels are okay, and we also need one mal two malta. Uh, matcha. Ma we need. Uh, do you have a? Do you sell coffee here? We need matcha smoothie. Matcha. Uh, uh, just mal lattes. Matcha yeah. lattes. No, one matcha Ooh. latte with caffeine, and one no one matcha la two matcha latte lattes with no caffeine in it, please. No caffeine, please. Ooh. Yes, so right away. Yes, yes, I can do that. Uh, he goes and he pulls out some carrots, uh, so turns fun. around and starts it's brewing so up some stuff at the thing. Comes one, back, one, he's one. like, oh, two matcha teas, one without caffeine. Hoo, hoo. I'll take the caffeine. That'll be, uh, that'll be, uh, ooh. you know what? It's free because I don't have very many people that come out and visit oh. me here. It's so nice to have visitors. Well, we we will uh, we will give you any any. Uh, you have money. How much money should we give him? Twenty bucks, dude. Mm. Seems like about twenty bucks worth of stuff. Yeah, twenty bucks. 
Twenty bucks, please. You know, you you have to you have to be able to survive out here. So we're gonna give you some money, Ooh. and then also oh, we uh, we we heard um, two things. We're we're on a, a, a mission. We're, what's our mission? Our mission is to find the things. Our mission is to find the things, but then also uh, we heard they have really nice uh, hot springs around here. Oh, yes, yes, you are very true. There are very many hot springs around here. Yes, very nice indeed. Sauna. We're going to go to the sauna, dude. You want to go to the sauna? Yeah. All right, we're going to go to the quick sauna. We need we need some towels, please. Do you have any towels? <laughs> yes, we have towels. We have lots of towels. We, we heard you towels. that we had towels. So 25 bucks. 25. We'll give you oh, 25. So generous. Thank you so much. Sauna's this way. And he like, points to the side. Uh, shows you where the sauna's at. Um, it is now like mid-afternoon. You guys have had your sauna soak. You guys have had... All of that stuff. Uh, when you hear the sound of like sleigh bells outside, and suddenly remember that you were sent here to retrieve everybody's Yuletide That's stuff, right. and we're on not a mission. Sit in the sauna. We're on a mission. Uh, 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 in the in the sauna, <coughs> I ask um, Oaken if uh, he knows anything about the um, you know the the creature from the uh, high high mountain. The creature. Oh, you mean the you mean the Grunch. They're the Grunch. Do you know anything about the Grunch? Ooh, the Grunch. The Grunch is not a pleasant man. No, he's not very happy. Not very nice at all. Tell us more about him. If any any uh, details kind of... you have about him, please tell if us. If someone attacks, how do we attack? Can we attack him? I mean, you could, but he hasn't really done much. He's just a grumpy old man. He just doesn't really like things. I don't think we should attack him, man. Um, I'm using speak on this guy. No, he doesn't know anything. He's just a child. He's just a normal human. Uh, anything else? Do you know anything? Good details? Uh, How can we get up to his mountain? Oh, that's simple. And Oaken pulls out this giant map and draws this like winding path on it. This is exactly and it's like back and forth, back and forth. This is exactly He's like, oh, it should be, you know... Maybe a couple hours up the mountain and you'd be able to get there if you follow this path. Um, or, and he draws a straight line up. He's like, the straight line, uh, that will get you there in like, I don't know, like 30 minutes, but it's much harder. 30 minutes, quick ride, or are we doing a... Uh, quick ride. Are we doing hour, hours up, hours up? Uh, how, how do we do that? How do we do that quick ride? Can you give us some advice? And can you also give us how do we go so, to that bridge? So basically what Oaken has given you guys is there is a route which will take you a couple of hours but won't require any dice rolls from you guys because it's a relatively easy and safe path up the mountain. The second option is a little bit more treacherous, a little bit steeper, and would require some dice rolls from you guys Wait, in no, order to make it up. Do you want to roll some dice or do you want to take these is. There is a risk to rolling the dice, though, because if you fail the rolls, depending on how high up the mountain you are, you damage. could end up falling further down the mountain, right, which is do? Just want to very dangerous. Give me, easy, like, I don't roll right, give me, give me, give me, give it to my ear, and then, and then I'm gonna make a big uh, exclamation. She. Let's take the easy way. We got time. Right. <laughs> Yay, I think these right. So you guys wind your way up the mountain. You guys make your way back and forth. There's snow falling, wind blowing, but this route is pretty well traveled. But we're singing uh, Christmas carols going up. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell, 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 bell ride. Right. Is there any? Uh, is phones are gone? Is phones are gone? There's no phones, man. There's no phones. We, uh, we we just do a oh, we just do a okay rugel and then we get a you know song from me. That so means. as you guys make your way up the mountain, as you guys get closer, uh, go ahead and roll for me your intelligence dice. What's oh my god, I got so many intelligence. What's mine? No, I got what no intelligence. You're your all intelligence. How, how much? Intelligence is? plus plus. Uh, you have two intelligence. Plus tracking, if you have it. And, uh, oh, 
That's that's three dice. Uh, plus four, plus one more for actually having tracking, right? Or attempting, yeah. So, so you're four, four for Ronnie. Yajica and one for one for me. All right, come on, man, track, dude. Four, four dice. Choose the good colors. Mm, red, no, no, greens. Go, man. Greens and blue. God dang. God dang. A four, four, five, six. A four, four, five, six for the boy, uh, for the for the young Yajika, YY, and then a uh, three for me. All right. Uh, so, Brinthro, you are caught up in your singing. You're just like... <laughs> Yajika, you hear... Uh, on the wind. It's like being carried by the wind. So you're not quite sure where it's coming from. Uh, but you hear this uh, Well, I just wish that all those singing carolers wouldn't ever come up my mountain. I just can't stand those yuletide carols. Oh my god. Yeah, yeah, don't sing. Stop singing. Okay. okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. Uh, you guys come to the top of the mountain. You guys see this entrance to this cave. Um, there's not a lot of decoration to this cave. There's no light. There's no nothing. Uh, you do hear from the back of the cave a lot of commotion, a lot of chunking, a lot of like things being moved around. And you hear this kind of like... <laughs> like kind of that's funny speaking chuckling thing coming from what seems to be the back of the cave there's an entrance to the cave yeah it's just like a big open cave is it entrance. there's no door no door just a big open okay. cave sneak i got sneak i think i got sneak. all right roll that roll that sneak roll that sneak i think i got sneak yeah i got sneak all right so two dice for me. I don't know about you, man. Uh, it's sneak is with your dexterity, so oh. with your archery stuff. Oh god, dang! Four dice. So okay. it's actually five dice for you. All right, right. Because right. it's one for attempting to yep. sneak, one yep. for yep. being yep. sneaky, yep. 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 This is really nice. How about for me? I love being a sneaky boy. Uh, I want to for stop. you, Yajika, I believe you only roll one dice this time. Ooh. Ooh, five out of one. I'll let you go, man. I'll let you go first. No, it's okay. You go first. <laughs> God dang. Five is the highest. Wait, well, hold on. Right. One, I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta let this, let this be known. One, two, three, four, One, five. two, three, four, five. On the roll the dice. Nice. I should. All right. Roll and a then six. you roll a six. Roll hold, a on. Six. hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see what you're made of. Let's see what you're made of. Ah, a one for the boy. Let's. Okay. Uh, so Rinthro, you like get down, you get low, you hide in the shadows, you love not making low. sound. You are hugging the edge of the wall. Uh, Yajika, you croak and just walk in the front Come of the room. Man, you just gonna jump right in, dude. Uh, as you go in, uh, Rinthro, you stay hidden. Nobody's able to see you in there. Uh, but I'm against the wall. Uh, what you guys see is BB-8. Uh, you see, standing in the back in a red suit, much like what all of the other uh, event runners at the uh, town, the Yuletide Festival, doing. Uh, you see, at the back of a cave, a gentleman who oh looks like this. Oh my god. As he is in the back. That's and, a glitch. It looks like and a glitch. he's sitting there, you see this giant sleigh against the back of this cave, which seems to open up to the opposite side of the mountain. And you guys can hear him being like, All oh, this Yuletide cheer just doesn't do me any good. It upsets the stomach. It sends me into things. I can't get any sleep because everybody's singing all night. This Yuletide thing just has to stop. 
stop. And you know, the best way to do that is to just send it all down the mountain and let it crash into the ravine. As he's like strapping this thing up and getting ready okay, to kind of shove it, kind of shove it out the back of this mountain cave, down what? the thing. But can but I? He's still it? got. He's still got some strapping. Uh, some strapping to do. Uh, so we are going to. This is kind stuck. of in place of the cave. This is. I know it's surrounded by water, but essentially the landmass that you guys are on is that kind of weird shape. And you see him at the back with the sleigh as he's getting ready to push it out. Can we? Can we just uh? Can all, I rope? Can we all just go ahead, Ronnie? Can I rope all the things that's falling down? He wants to rope. Uh, before we rope, can we all just uh take a moment and appreciate uh, uh Kevin Ray's really very nice uh, Sean Connery accent? It's very nice. Like if you. <laughs> Like if you want to be like a Sean Connery voiceover for like some sort of audio book, it's very good. <laughs> I don't think that's who I was thinking of. I don't know, man. I heard Sean Connery. I heard the Sean Connery Grinch. All right, let's go. All right, what are we doing, son? We going? You're gonna go for a rope move? Yep, to catch all the things that he's dropping. All right, but well, we can't do rope yet. But I, I, I like, I like that. I like that. Uh, once we get close enough, I think we got to get close. Uh, what are you gonna do, man? I'm just going to run. You're gonna hop. Just hop. You're gonna hop first, and then are you gonna do anything at the end of the hop? I don't think you have a range, actually. So how much do you want to go, running? Bingo bells right now, Yadrika, as you come into this cave. Ah, <laughs> uh, Ronnie. <laughs> Are you singing jingle bells? Yadrika, Yadrika, are you singing jingle bells as you come yep. into this cave? He, he can't so stop. as he can't you stop sing jingle bells in this cave, it's too late. It echoes off the wall, and the grunch just stops off the grunch and turns around and looks at Yajika. He still doesn't see Rinthrow, but he looks straight at oh, Yajika. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm like, hidden. I'm 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 moving myself over here in the corner. Would you please stop singing those carols in my car? Sorry, I know carols for Rocky, no carols for others. Only carols for me. Also, who said you could come in my car? Yeah, man. He's talking to you. He's talking to you. Oh, okay. I'll stop singing carols if you stop dropping things. Stop, drop. I haven't dropped anything yet. Everything's still on the sleigh. Everything's tied down and tidy. Okay, sorry. I'll stop singing. <coughs> God. What are you even doing here? What are you doing here? <laughs> what are you doing here, man? He asked you. What are I, you going to say? I am just going to try get things. I'm trying to save things. You're trying to save things. Well, there's nothing to be saved here. Yes, there so you is. can just go on along. The presents. You took our presents. You're here to save the presents? Yeah. Max! 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 And, <laughs> and he starts screaming. He's a prize. Uh, He's a prize. Uh, as he does that, uh, I need to find Max. The prize. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna surprise him. I'm, 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 I'm on, a, I'm on a surprise mode. Hold on. Wait a moment. While y'all are doing that, let me, uh, let me check my uh, split shot, Calandrasa dance. Uh, I don't want to attack him. He, he didn't do anything wrong besides stealing everything. But uh, okay, here we go. As, as you're getting ready to attack, and he's calling for. Whatever this Max is. Oh my God, Max you guys is hear this. <laughs> you hear this very loud growl coming from the back of the cave as this Max. large dog comes out and stands in front of the Grunch Attack and Max. starts growling. Starts growling at you as you see the Grinch turn around and start pushing and attempting to push the sleigh out the back of the cave. Come on, man. All right. Uh, the it grunge. is your guys' turn. I will say this. Every turn, 
that the Gronch has, he is going to attempt to push the sleigh out the back of the cave. He is going to roll one dice. If he rolls a... Uh, it's going to start at a six. If he rolls a six, sled goes out the back of the cave. And every turn beyond that, it's going to keep getting easier for him to push because he's going to be working on snow. Uh, so it'll start at a six, then it'll be a five, then a four, then a three, we're, then a two, we're, then we're a one. We got, we got a time limit, man. So you got a time limit here before the sleigh goes out the back of the thing, and then you have to try and deal with what to do with the sleigh after. Attack that. him, DM. Do uh, how long is how how many how much um, what's my range on my Clindrosa dance? It doesn't say. Uh, four squares. Dang. Like a regular magic. Thing. Okay. That's, God dang. This guy's really classy over here with the uh. But it's your guys' turn. I think chopsticks with the god dang Cheetos, man. Alright. I'm, I'm impressed with your... I'm, I'm, I'm impressed with your uh, chopstick skills, man. You know, like, somebody who's been in Korea for a while, you know? Like, I know I know how to I know how to move the, the sticks around. Uh, okay. Alright. Six. You need to poop now? No. I guess it's not during the... Uh, what, what, what was that, the, 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 the challenge? Oh, yeah, <laughs> the eating challenge. You all looking good? Yeah. Oh, sorry. Love you. Uh, okay, while he's while he's over there uh, taking a poop. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I got it. I'm moving in. Yeah. Yeah, you're one move and you're well within range. Yep, I'm uh, going. I, whatever you're doing right now, I'm right into that to that move, and then I'm I'm going for the double, the the, the dubla, the the double shot. I got a double shot, right? Double. You got a split shot, so you can assign your dice to up to three targets. So you can do like two okay. dice on Max, one on Grange. I got Grunch, one. Or... I got one on Grange, and I got one on um the. I got one on. I got one on Max. I got one on the Grunch. Come on, baby. Oh wait. I got. Uh, I got three on the Grunch and I got uh, six on the um, Max. Okay. Snacks ready, snacks ready. Oh my god, snacks coming in, snacks coming in, everybody. Oh, did you? Snacks I heard. For the big guy, you got rock, got a six, and for the grunge, you got a three. The big guy, I got a six, and the grunge, I got a three. I yeah, heard it. Is. Yeah, you've heard it. All right, so as you step up and launch your arrows, realizing what's going on, uh, one arrow sinks right into Max's shoulder uh, as he just growls and he's like, hey, 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 hey. Uh, and the grunge. Like, slips at the exact moment your arrow would have hit him, uh, and instead it just thunks into the not side bad. of the clay instead. That's not uh, bad. So you missed the grunge. Yajika, what are you doing? Uh, I missed the grunge? Okay. That's not a gun. Yeah. Alright, your turn, man. No, you said it's okay. I'm coming to my dad. No, your turn, man. I missed. The, I, I hit the guy, obviously, because a six. <laughs> And then, um, and then, what are you gonna do, man? What's your move? What? I, what should I do? I should. Just oh, well, man, you got a couple moves here. You got a. Uh, I got the branch. <laughs> you got the you frog shot. That's get, four shots. You can't get within range of the grunge, but you can get within range of Max. Oh yeah, I'm going to get Max. Or you could do double your movement. Which would put you right up next to the Gronch. You wouldn't be able to attack or do anything, but you would be able to get right next to the Gronch. Do you want to get next to the Gronch, or do you want to put a, a magic attack on Max? Magic on Max. Magic on Max. Mm. All right. I right. only use magic once. Yeah. You. Have no. No, I'm just going to move a little bit. You should use uh, you should use a dancing sword. Yeah, dancing sword. Okay, so you're gonna put a dancing sword. Down. 
No, can't hit him, man. You gotta hit Max. Okay. No, but I don't want to move, okay? You have to move and attack, man. Yes, move and attack. You Max, want to attack at me? Your swords. Where is a good sword? Mm -hmm. I'm move and attack, please. Yes, you will be able to roll an attack in a second. I'm sorry, I'm trying to do this. You should get right next to me. Put rope on him. Yeah. All right, so that, that little red circle is your swords. Uh, so you can do... Uh, no, not yet. Do, you can use two melee dice. And you I can make my a mind. melee attack What's your mind? against either the... We'll say it's right here. So you can make a melee attack against either the wolf or the grotch. Are choice. you trying to do... Are you trying to do the... Or not? Are you trying to do the, the rope or are you trying to do the. the... Trying to do the rope. Sorry. Okay, so not doing swords. Sorry, DM. Uh, we changed That's the plan. That's okay. We want to go We so, want to go for a double. Ah, uh, but we can't attack. We can't do rope if we do a double run, right? No, you would be able to get there, which means your next turn, you just have to hope that the Gronch doesn't roll a six to shove this slay out. So. Hope it doesn't roll a six. What, what do you want? Go, go sh straight shot? Yes, right down. Alright, he's going straight shot. Mm -hmm. Next right. to the grunge. Uh, Max is going to yeah. charge at the person who put an arrow in him. Come at me, uh, bro. Come at me, bite. bro. Take a bite out of you. Roll your armor, please. I'm armorly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Two or one? I have one on armor. For one die. God dang. That's a two. For your boy. So Max comes up and does the whole like double paw swipe down on you and just catches you on both shoulders. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, just that... scratches you down the front. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, you take one damage from that. That makes perfect uh, sense. And the Gronch is going to attempt to shove this thing out. Oh, the shovel. Me? Uh, you guys see the Gronch throw both hands against the sleigh, and his feet just start moving. Did he move this? Hold on. No, the sleigh does not move, the but his feet move. are moving. He is attempting to push this thing out. Next turn, if he rolls a five or a six, it five will Five or six is, is good to go, man. So All I right. think this is where you got to roll. It is your guys' turn. I'm going to rub him up right now. All right, Immediately. go ahead and roll your rope with your dexterity. Two or three. Rope with dexterity is, I think, two for you. I might be wrong, but it might be one. Oh, it might be one. Ah, uh, no, one one for trying it, and then one for rope, right? So two. Nice. I'm getting it. Four and four. That's double a double four. four. Uh, oh, oh. As you go to tie this guy up and you do that, he looks over at you. He got you. He's just like, what do you think you're doing, young man? He do you think you. that you can just tie me up with some rope? That's he not you. possible. He snapped And he kind of swats the rope away from you. God dang, he snapped you, dude. Um, All right. Here's what's going to happen now. Your boy, your boy Renthril is about to run up right in between both of them and then hit it with the double. The, right. the double shot. I'm gonna do a. I'm gonna do a. I'm gonna do like a. Whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. I need my. Uh, hey, do I have my? Do I have my? Uh, my thing? Hold on. Hold on, everyone. Oh yeah, here we go. Gotta get. Gotta get this guy out. All right. So the split shot. Dang, I love this. Right. I'll, 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 I'll take one arrow and I'll throw one the other way, okay? What's that mean? Cause if you do it one this way, then I'll do it one that way. All right. Ready? Um. Okay. Wait, wait. wait. I gotta roll it. Uh. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Grinch is green, and we're going dark blue for the the doggo. Wrong. No, I'm changing it because he's got a red. He's got red around him, so I'm gonna do a, a dark green and a red. We're going. Uh, we're going Christmas colors on a Christmas Eve, everyone. 
All right. Oh my god. That doesn't count. That doesn't count. Oh god, please, the one doesn't count. It, it <laughs> fell out of my it fell out of my hands, everyone. Okay, here we go. Okay. Ready? I'm not even going to look at it. I'm not even going to look at it. Actually, I'm going to flip this. And then I'm going to Okay. Ready? That's a that's a that's a Columbrasa yeah. shot. Yeah. <laughs> and let's see. Let's see what it is. Hold on, hold on. We got, we got, we got, we got you know, for the, for the, for the viewers, they gotta, they gotta, they gotta see what's going on over here. All right, we're gonna pull this one out here with the three and a four. Is that? So uh, three for the Grinch, the Grinch, and then uh, a four for Max. So I will say you do have one additional die that you get to assign to somebody. Because you have three dice to attack with. Whoa! What should so I do, who, man? Who are you adding that extra dice to? All right, I'm gonna who ignore. I'm gonna ignore. I'm gonna ignore what I got. Who do I, who do I want to go out more? Do who should I go for more? Grinchy, right? No. I should go for Grinchy. I'll I mean, for Grinch. I was gonna go for Grinchy anyways because you know I don't want him to throw the thing over the over the edge. Okay. Look at this! Look at this! Look at this! Look at this! All right, ready? The Grinchy three. Another three. Double threes. Okay. So six? No, it doesn't count. It's three three. It's just three three. Uh, so you run past Max, turn, pull up your two arrows, and like let them fly, striking both your targets square on as another uh, another arrow hits Max, and a arrow hits the Grunch. Strikes uh, both, dude. Oh, I sucked at the uh, Christmas what? competitions, but what? God, dang, nailing it I here have, in this case. I have uh, a quick. Ah! What, what, what's that mean? You put this on here. This on here. You put this. All right. But so I have a question. What question. did what did what did the Grunch roll on? What did the Max roll? Uh, believe it or not, I rolled three ones. <laughs> so, this is a great day. Matter, this is a great day. It didn't matter what you were... A terrible day for Kevin, about. but a great day for us. Uh, and as you say that statement, the Grunch turns around... Oh, no. With a heave and a hoe and a mighty go... Out the window it flies! And he like gives it one big shove, and you guys see the sleigh take off oh my out God. the back of this cave. Dang. You knock on wood. We didn't knock on wood, man. Travel down the, 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 but I have a question. Can you down do this the mountain. Cool trick move. How did you do it? I will do it, but dude, we, we gotta go get this sleigh, man. Otherwise, it's so, gonna crash into the thing. The sleigh is now out the back of the cave. Uh, how did you do this? The Grunch is laughing hysterically. <laughs> the Yuletide celebrations will never come again. <laughs> are you guys going to deal with the Grunch or are you going after the stuff? Going after the stuff. <clears throat> All right. Very well. How'd you do that? Uh, Just wrap it, man. Just wrap it. As you guys head out way, the back way. of the, the, oh, no, right. the cave. Right. Here's how this is going to work. This. And then trying you to... guys are starting just behind the sleigh. Jesus it is Christ. downhill. Hey man, we got to get this sleigh. The sleigh, it's going to start out. You guys are kind of right here. It is going to be contested. Every round is contested roll. Huh? It's going to be contested rolls. I don't know what that means. It's going to be contested. That means I'm going to roll and you're going to roll. And whoever gets higher wins. If I win, everybody gets pulled down the mountain five squares. If you guys win, actually, it only gets pulled down three squares. If you guys win, the the sleigh only moves down two squares, but then that's the fastest it can continue to moving. Basically, every time you guys win, you're slowing it down more. Okay. To the point where it's going to eventually hit zero. If I but every time we lose, it goes faster. 
every time you lose, it just moves at the same rate that it was moving. So okay. you guys weren't able to slow it down. That's good. That's good. Let's, let's roll it. Uh, so I'm going to roll. Try. Everybody's going to roll one dice. Okay. Let's try it. And one or both let's of you. Try it. It okay. doesn't matter who. Just one of you has to. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Ready? Ready. Wait, wait, wait. Roll your dice. We're going purple. Whoa. Jesus Christ. Escape. Oh, sick with a six. Oh, my God. A one and a six. So, you guys both latch on to this sleigh, dig your feet into the snow. Uh, Rinthril, you're having some difficulty finding your footing, uh, but Yajika, you have those powerful frog legs. Like a uh, wet, wet, feet. wet feet. And you just kind of stick your feet in, flex your muscles, and slow down this thing. You guys move two squares down the mountain. Nice. Alright, next roll. Alright, I'm going for a different color. The, the purple was not a good color for me. I'm going for a green. No, I'm going, no, I'm going for a purple. No, that, that doesn't count? Yeah, I mean, if it's good, it counts. But no, could no. Take it, grab it, grab it before it, grab it lands. Grab it before it lands. Put it in here. Keep it in the three. Two and a three. So as you guys are continuing down this mountain, you guys are trying to find good footing. Uh, you run into some branches. You run into some rocks. You kind of lose your footing a little bit, failing to slow down this sleigh anymore. Stop it. Stop. 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 Another. Another two squares down. God, Next goal, please. Up. Okay. Ooh, okay, it's my turn. All right, I'm going. I'm going old dice. I'm going old dice, baby. Old dice. Old dice, baby. God dang, why are my dice so bad today? I got a one and a four. One four. All right. Uh, Let's do the Christmas colors. Maybe that would be less. So. <coughs> Again, uh, Yajika, you kind of recover a little bit but your footing is still not sure enough to stop this sleigh from moving two more squares down. I'm not very good in the snow. <laughs> it's okay. Next the, four, the four didn't do anything? Okay. Uh, the sleigh rolled a four as well. Which, ah, dang, all right, which, let's go. Which one do you want to do? Give me one that you want me to do. Okay, ready? And I'm going green for the green shirt. Go, you go first. That's a four. And uh, four, four, double four. Come on with the fours. All right. Uh, you guys both, uh, Rinthro, you're now getting your footing kind of in place. Yajika, you dig your feet in even further. You guys manage to slow this sleigh down to one square of momentum each. All right, here we go. Here we go. If you guys win one more time, you will successfully stop this sleigh. We'll save However, Christmas. The sleigh could still keep winning and eventually go over the cliff. All right, come on, baby. Let's go. Let's save it from the cliff, baby. All right. What do you, what's, what? Give me a color. I need you. You're the. You're the hot dice right now. Uh, what? What was my highest? What was my highest? My highest roll of my dice. I can't remember, man. I think it's only YouTube knows. This one. Okay. I get. I'll, I'll also go blue. Okay. Ready. We're going double blue. But we all get confused if we do it double. This is uh this is a suck it bluey. Six! That's the good news! I rolled a six. I mean it's great for him, man. I got I got a one, he got a six, so you know. So Rinthro, what you're learning today is that anything aside from a fight. You're not doing very hot. At this it. right, this right. This is my, this is my. Uh, check yourself before you wreck yourself. But this yeah, is my stronger, uh, stronger, 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 Dead in its tracks on the side of the mountain God. as you guys successfully bring it to a stop, and you hear from up above. Like this? Watch uh, this, watch this. The uh, kind of jittering of the Grange, who is like, No! How dare you stop my plan! Now there'll be caroling and presents and merriment! 
Who wants to be happy? I don't want to be happy. Shop shop present. Shop present. And then, like, wanders back into his cave. What should bring uh, the Rancho present? Yeah, some dices. Or, <laughs> or some dice. Or some poop. Uh, as you guys have successfully box. stopped this sleigh, you hear, <laughs> That's uh, water. you hear the sound of jingle bells yes. and some reindeer. The guy, the guy. The guy. The we rescued and him last you time. Hear, you hear this like sleigh and you hear this very jolly <laughs> Oh, it looks like that the villagers of Rivenshore have once again saved the day for my holiday. And you see this sleigh with uh Guys, with the, uh, the All Father coming down. The All Father, that's right. Uh, as he like pulls up next to you all. All Father! He's like, well, this is the second time people from your village have saved this holiday. What can I call you? Last time. Uh, my name is. Rinthrill. <laughs> and my name is. No, and my name is. <laughs> Yajika! Is you, is your head itching? No, <laughs> no, that's no this is right. what we do. This is just our thing. That's okay, very right. well. Uh, I see that you are stuck here on the side of the mountain with uh, a sleigh full of stuff. Do you need a ride back to Rivenshore? Uh, yes. Wait a minute. Stop it. Uh, All Father. Yes. I know that the Grange does many bad things, but I think that he could be a good guy. And do you have any gift that we can bring to the Grange to yeah. kind of make him, um, you know. Be happy of Christmas. We just, we, yeah, we just, it doesn't matter about being happy about Christmas. We don't want to change his mind. We just want him to be happy. Is there anything that you have because I know you're the All Father and you have all things. Is there anything that we can give to the Grange to make him have a a a, a happy time? Uh, Dad, I want my shoe back. I want my sh I want my shoe, and I also want my fork back. We'll get the shoes. Actually, in the actually, uh, since you mention it, he reaches into this like side satchel and he pulls out this letter. It says from Grange to All Father, and. He reads. He looks at it. He's like, "Well, speaking of what you what you're asking, uh, he actually sent me a letter this year. It's kind of weird. It's not a normal request that I normally get." Uh, he says, "All Father, this year I only want one thing, but I only want it if you're smart enough to figure out this riddle. The answer to the riddle is what I want." And so All Father looks and he's like, "All right, well, I, I was just going to ignore this, but since you asked, I might as well tell you his riddle and see if you guys can figure it out." Solve the riddle. It says, uh, "Poor people have it. Rich people don't need it. If you eat it, you'll die. What is it?" Hold on. Well, let me uh, consult with my uh, with my partner here. Poor people have it. Rich people don't need it. Don't need it. And then if you eat it, you die. It's something electric related, I think. Electricity? No. Poor people have it. Rich people don't need it. Poor people don't have that thing. Happy happiness. Um. Happiness? No, never happiness. Electricity. You no. can't eat happiness, though. It's kind of true. It's got to be something that you can eat. What can you eat? That can make you die. That can make you die. That can make rich people die. Um, oh, can you help? Uh, can you all help? Father. Yes. Uh. <laughs> Wait a moment. What do you think, son? Christmas? Poor people have it. What do poor people have? Mm, like life? 
What can poor people eat? What do poor people eat? Food? Poop. Poop? Yeah, they don't poop. need poop. No, that's not a real thing. Um, uh, worms? Or worms? Slugs? Slugs? Worms and slugs. It's a cheeky, it's a cheeky, it's a cheeky, uh, thing here. Question. A um, uh, All Father, I'm going to use my speak to see if there's any sort of, uh, hints that maybe the, the, the grunge left on there. Okay. I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to use two dice for speak. For, to see if there's any, like, maybe Grange left a hint on the back side. Three and a six. So, the Allfather hands you the letter, lets you look it over. Um, there's nothing really there. The Grange left nothing as an indicator. I'm, 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 I'm going to Google it if you don't give me a hint. <laughs> you got nothing, Ronnie? I will say this. As as the D as the GM, in the last five minutes I have said the answer to the riddle. Oh. <gasps> if you eat presents, are you gonna die? <laughs> no. Sometimes presents are snacks. When you exactly. snacks don't make you die. The All Father like looks at Yajiko and he says, "Sometimes presents are snacks." And he's like, "I love my cookie snack presents. Those are delicious." <laughs> presents. Cheese sticks. Was presents the answer? Or maybe cheese sticks. No. Snacks. The answer. <laughs> Maybe poop. It's not poop. We didn't say poop. Did you say? Did you say poop in the last five minutes? How about snacks? No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not there. I'm not on that level right now. Okay. Then how about pants? Not present. Pants? I don't know. It's too tricky. We don't know, well, so we're just gonna. Uh, oh, we're just I gonna give. Wonder. Well, if you guys can't figure it out, I guess there's just nothing we can do about it. We're just going to give a gift to him anyways. What are we going to give him a gift? No, we just need to solve the real thing. We can't solve it, man. We need, we, I see a rocket ship line. 30 seconds. In the last 30 seconds, I said the answer. He said the answer in the last 30 seconds, dude. Pooh! Yes, it's, it's not, it's <laughs> yeah, yo, we're gonna go. T we're gonna take a big poop in 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 uh, his his front. Yo. <laughs> the last thirty seconds. There's no way the answer was in the last thirty seconds. Uh, there, it, the answer was in the last thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. <laughs> the, yeah, the answer is thirty seconds. <laughs> time. Uh, time. Time. Oh, you can't eat time. Uh, <laughs> Clocks. Clocks! <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, it's right over the all father. Right. The Allfather looks at you guys again and is like, well, I guess there's just nothing we can do. No, we need this, to so do let's it! Go ahead. All uh, father? Sh sh let's go ahead and what? The Allfather looks at you guys and is like, well, if you guys can't figure it out, I guess there's just nothing we can do about no, it. No! Uh, nothing! <laughs> nothing! Nothing! Uh, the answer is nothing. <laughs> no! Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks, thanks all, thanks all, Father. It's nothing, as man. Guys, as you guys declare, nothing is the answer to this riddle. The All Father's like, ha ha! I can't believe I didn't see it for myself. Jesus! This is, oh my gosh! You gotta spell it out for us. We're we're over here, like young maybe children. That's why, uh, maybe that's why the Grouch is so grumpy with me all the time. I always keep bringing him things, even though he keeps telling me. He wants nothing. So uh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, okay, here we go. Here's what we're gonna do, everyone. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna write a note right now. 
and it's going to say... What's the answer? It's going to say, sorry for attacking Max, and sorry for attacking you. This note is a no thing. No, no thing. No thing. This note is no thing. And then give it to him. Okay, so you write that. All Father sends it off magically to the cave. Mm -hmm. He's like, all right, well, let's get back to Ribbon Shore. I'm sure everybody wants their presents and to celebrate Yuletide now. Uh, he actually magically packs that entire sleigh into a bag in his sleigh. Classic. Tells you guys to get on uh, as you guys fly back from the mountains towards Ribbon Shore. Classic. Uh, classic ending. You guys arrive back in Ribbon Shore. Everybody sees you guys approaching with All Father. Uh, he lets you out, drops off everybody's stuff. Everybody gets their things back. Even uh, our you things. See Rexy, you see Rexy and Fibro come out and they like reminiscing with. All Father. Even my shoe? Before All Father. The, 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 the shoe, we're, we're very important about the shoe. <laughs> yes, your shoe and your golden fork. Oh, Don't okay, okay, okay. I have a trade for him. Everything's good. Rex? No, uh, uh, Byro. Thanks for giving me the hat. I'll give you a shoe for a trade. Well, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And he takes the, the shoe from you. Uh, and. This might be perfect. Celebrations happen. You guys have saved Yuletide. Uh, you as players have saved it again. Uh, but the town now has a new legend of the time that Rinthril and Yajiko went and stopped the Grunch. Legend! Yuletide. And that concludes the epic Yuletide Eve wow. adventure wow. for Hero Kids. We nailed it. Congrats, Kevin. 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 Nothing, nothing, you're the best. Nothing, you're the best. Nothing, nothing. Kevin, you're the best. Wow. Um, I have to let you know. Uh, Bye. Uh, fun fact: I will be possibly getting a job in um, Washington soon, and uh, so we might meet together. And so we might meet together. Except we might be able to do these adventures in person. At some point awesome. in the future. Um, or well, we might visit your house. Visit. Well, we could, we, if, 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 you'll, if you'll have us, we want to come see your cat. And oh, also, I want to see your wife. And Do you have sons? want to see my wife? <laughs> Do you have sons? My, son, my son's interested I, in your wife. <laughs> and you also I have, have sons? I have, I have no children. He has no children, but he does have a cat. A new cat. I have a cat and a dog. Oh, those are what I. Oh yeah. From, yes, we I saw your dog before. Yes, we saw mm -hmm. it. Yeah, your dog's good. So, well. Alrighty. Anyways. Well, Merry Christmas, guys. Ho uh, ho ho. Ho ho ho. Uh, and next time you guys want to play, just let me know, and we will set up another game. All right, dude. Thank you. All right, bye. You're the best. We no love problem. you. Take it easy. Take it easy.